Ladies and gentlemen, while this has been a brief ceremony, its origins are steep in history. There has been a presiding officer in the Westminster tradition since 1258. Traditionally, it carried some risks. History records that no less than seven speakers of the British House of Commons who had to deliver some unpalatable news to a monarch were executed between 1394 in 1535. And so, sir, it is understandable that there was some hesitancy in you taking up the role. And I do understand, Dr. Smith, that you showed the traditional reluctance 
on being nominated. The role of Speaker has also evolved. From the Crown representative to the House, the Speaker is now very much the representative of the House to the Crown. That Parliament should choose its own representative was another step in the evolution of our inherited Westminster democracy and its progress from a feudal to a constitutional monarchy. Dr Smith, as Speaker, you have been chosen by the Members of Parliament to undertake one of the central roles in our democracy, upholding the rules of the House and the rights of its members in an impartial way. You bring dignity to the proceedings of the House. Chairing its meetings and representing the House to international and other important visitors are at the core of your appointment. You also play an important administrative role in chairing three select committees and acting as landlord for Parliament's grounds and buildings. Dr Smith, so I congratulate you on your appointment. By electing you to this high office, your colleagues have given you the singular responsibility to represent the House to the Crown, to New Zealanders, to other parliaments and to the wider world. I wish you well in your endeavours and I look forward to working with you and your staff throughout your tenure. Kia ora huhu tato katoa. I now invite you to join with me and stand and sing our national anthem.